In this tutorial, we are going to show you the basic work with the dataset. As you know, a dataset consists of attributes and indicators, which are representing the data model. You can define them during the import, ad hoc in the dataset, or in the report. Let's start with the attributes. They are describing the indicators and are used for categorizing and drill down of the indicator values. Except the basic modification like adding, removing or renaming attributes, you can predefine the drill down path. It helps the report consumer for better orientation in the analysis. To do that, click on Create Drill Down Path and choose the starting point of a drill down. By clicking on plus symbol, you can define another and more complex structure of a drill down path. Ok, now we have a simple predefined drill down path. So let's take a look on how it works in the report. We are in the table and we want to take a deeper look into our data. After clicking on the drill down plus symbol, Bellatti offers the predefined path. You can change the appearance of the attribute member in the attribute settings. You can also change the translation of the attribute or any of its members. The appearances and translations defined here are affecting all reports where they are used. Now let's move on to the indicators. They represent the facts which we are going to analyze, like amount of sale goods, bank transfers, etc. You may have already noticed that both attributes and indicators have special code, which is used in scripting. But we will talk more about it later. Except the basics, you can define indicator units or you can change the way the indicator will be displayed in a report by changing its format. One of the greatest functions, however, is the ability to write transformation scripts. You can learn more about it on our developers portal. Similar to attributes, the translation and appearance settings are available here too. Another option is to group the indicators for better organization of the report tables. You can add already existing indicators to the group, create new ones, or add a subgroup. The next great tool to use is Alarm. If you want to keep track of the changes of your data, you can set it on and you will be notified whenever some changes are made. Next tutorial video is available here. Thank you for watching this Bellatti tutorial.